We're gonna pretend the whole class is one group. And we wanna see how well you work together. You need to get in line by the day you were born without talking. Because we teach group work to our students, they know they have a piece to contribute. No words. They know how to use their resources in other people, and they know how to build ideas together. Now we're gonna say the day you were born. Seven, nine, nine, 10, 11. Woohoo! we got it! We are an all honors curriculum here, which means we're providing high level instruction from grades seven to 12. Given that, however, we have entirely heterogeneous classes where you've got kids of all different previous levels of achievement. At University Park, you're gonna see group work from grades seven all the way to grades 12. We start in seventh grade with roles and responsibilities. You wanna make sure you understand what are the responsibilities of each of the roles that you've been given. I don't think group work comes naturally. I think it's something that they have to learn. One plus eight. Today we were learning about integers, positive and negative numbers. Now it's time to take the basic skills and transfer it into real world solving problems. The person who's the questionnaire, you will come up and get the problem because you have to read the problem to your group partners. For this particular activity, we give roles. There would be a questioner, a summarizer, and a clarifier. The clarifier will set up the problem, make sure each group member agrees with the plan. One side of the paper that I gave them would be prompts, so that it helps them take away that nervousness because it says, oh, you have to say something. If you're not sure how to start the conversation, if you want to say something, use those sheets. Get a clarifier. Oh, the paper's I'm the Teachers want us to like learn with each other so we can all know like what different ways you can solve the problem and not just like the teacher's way. I personally really love that because I like to like experience like how other people solve the problem so see if I can, I, I can have a strategy for that too. Is it done by the end of the year? By no means. No, no, no. I mean it's a struggle day in and day out for sure. But they definitely get better at it. Yeah. We're not just pushing desks together and thinking that's group work now, but really giving challenging assignments that require multiple voices, that require people to have a role in building knowledge together. And so we build it that way. We'll kind of pull away some of the scaffolds as the kids get older, and then you can really see them working together in a collaborative way. So it's 7.5 by 7.5. We're making a polynomial cube. He's working on like the bigger box so we can put things in and I'm working on the small pieces for now. We're starting unit on polynomials. It'll be similar to what you did here. When you're dealing with polynomials, you're dealing with dimensionality, so they're all building eight shapes with an outer box, hopefully to tie together the symbolic and the spatial. Which one do you want to do? Uh, the 7.5. By the 7.5 cube? Yeah. All right, then I'll do one of the 12.5s by 7.5. Okay. A good group work problem, it's got to be so big that you need your partner to help decide on the organization, to try this while you're trying something related to it. Starting this project, I was really confused because this class is fairly difficult. So, but I find that when you go to other classmates, it helps like tremendously. And then they can be talking to the other groups around them and seeing maybe a different way to tweak their process. So what he did was he um, came up here and drew each box that this group had. Although we're in our own individual groups, it's very helpful to go into another group and ask questions. When you finally get to the answer, it sticks with you longer than the teacher just telling you the answer. Oh, I see. <laughs> the world more and more relies on people being able to work together to collaboratively solve problems. Anna could do counting how much money we have and then y'all can do how much everything is in total. You know, I have kids come to me every single day. If I had four seventh graders come to me the other day, they want to do a bake sale to raise money for Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. So all the money we make in the bake sale is gonna to go towards this charity. Yeah. So you've got some people on board already to help out and you're gonna stay after today? Yeah, but they just need to know when they have to have a buy. So they see the value in teamwork. 
Well, you can go put Friday on that announcement. All right. And we'll go on Friday. Yay! All right. Thank you. <laughs>